Hey folks, I just wanted to take a minute and do a quick tutorial and explanation of Revit um, family type catalogs. So most of my families, you'll know, uh, use type catalogs. And so I thought I would show you how to make changes to the families using the type catalog because it's, it's a really fast way to make a change to all the family types because some families have like 30 or 40 types. And so to just do it in an Excel spreadsheet uh, is a lot quicker than going into the families and trying to change the parameters 40 times. So I'm gonna show you how I do that, but I also wanna take this opportunity to tell you if you bought, um, if you bought my set of say um, window families, but you bought the, the, the set with all, all three different styles in it, you bought the big set of all the windows rather than just one style of window, um, I give you what's called the seed families. So if you're looking at the download that I gave you, it looks kind of like this. It's got the craftsman, modern, traditional, and then seed families. If you go in the seed families, I have the CSV file for the type catalog for all the different families that were included in that set. Um, and these are great because the seed families contain like if it's a door like these, the, what we're going to be doing for examples today are doors. So the seed families for doors have all the door panels that I possibly have ever created. So instead of like, um, like if you just bought the craftsman doors, you maybe have three or four options. If you bought this, if you have the seed families, you have probably, I don't know, I, I want to say there's like 20 options or something. And then same with the, hardware there's like eight different styles of hardware instead of two and the trim families instead of only having three trim family options you have uh, 15 or something so the the seed families give you the greatest amount of options if you want to create your own set uh, or line of doors uh, but if you don't have that you can still edit the the type catalog it'll just look a little differently so let's let's do it for the craftsman style doors. So if you just go into the craftsman doors, you'll see in here, let me change the view to detailed and then sort by name. Each, each family, you have the Revit file, the RFA file, and then you have a .txt file. And that is the catalog file. So all you've got to do is let's do a swinging door. And when we load the swinging door in right now, it automatically, if it's craftsman, has a three panel door. And maybe that irritates you. Maybe you, f all the craftsman doors you want in your house that you design, you, do, you want a four panel craftsman door, not a three panel. So one way to do that is to open up craftsman door and then try to make a bunch of different families, uh, types of all the different sizes, but then go through and change all the door panels. Or you can load in the craftsman doors into your project and then each time you place the door, you got to edit the door and change the panel from a three panel to a four panel, or you can just change the type catalog and it will automatically load the way you want it to. So I'm going to show you my method for doing that. The first thing I do is I open up the door family or the family that I'm going to be editing because what you want to do is you don't want to make mistakes when you start typing into Excel. And so we'll start opening the properties panel inside Revit. We'll do the family properties and then we're just, we're literally going to copy and paste from here to make sure there's no errors. Okay, so we open the family and then the other thing you need to do is you change the TXT file. So make sure your extensions are showing in your Explorer, in Windows Explorer. And then you're gonna change this from .txt to .csv. And then you hit enter, it's gonna give you a warning and you hit enter through that. And then it changes it to a CSV file. Then just double click and open that up in Excel. Okay, so this is what you see. Basically, this is what you see when you go to load this family into Revit. It comes up with a dialog box and here's the name of the different door options. And then here are all your parameters from your family that you've chosen to include in the, in, the, in the table here. So what I do right off the bat is I highlight this row and I format cells and 
I put them at a 45 alignment and then control B for bold. Okay, so now I can see the different parameters and don't change anything here because if you mess up the naming, it won't work. What you're interested in are the values. So I've already set up all the size values. You most likely won't change those, but if you want to or add more, <coughs> you can do that. So for us, we're changing the door style. We want a four panel and while we're at it, let's say we don't want a knob. We would like a lever instead to load in by default. And then maybe the trim, we don't want it to be craftsman. Maybe we want it to be more simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this aside here and then we'll scroll over to the door style is what we'll change first. So you can see we've all load in with the three panel. So we're going to go over here and we're going to bring up our family type parameters and we're going to scroll down to where it says door style. And you can see right now, here's our door style. It's a three panel craftsman. So we're going to pick four panel craftsman. And just to make sure we don't get it wrong, we're gonna highlight everything and we're gonna hit Control C and copy that. And then we're gonna go over to our Excel file and under the door, door style, we're going to paste what we just copied. So door panel or door for panel craftsman. Then all we have to do is copy that down. Now every family that gets loaded has a four panel door rather than the three panel. And then we're going to do a lever instead of a knob. Copy that over, pull it down. And then the last thing we can change is from Craftsman, maybe we want kind of a minimalist style, which I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So we'll control C and then control V into our Excel row here and then copy it down. Okay, so with that done, we're gonna hit save and close. And then we're gonna hit okay, and this will show us what the new style looks like. So now you can see, oh, hey, look, it's a lever now. It changed the door panel and it changed the trim. So now we're gonna close the Revit file. There's no need to save it because you haven't, nothing you've done affects the family uh, right now. It's only upon loading will Revit build this according to your Excel. So now let's go back to our CSV file and we need to change that back to .txt, enter through the warning. Okay, so now we have actually changed the um, catalog file. So now when we go to load it into a family, let me just open project up and we'll load it in real quick. Okay, uh, let me just make sure where we're at here. In the Craftsman library. So let's uh, go up to here to the top, insert, load family, and we're gonna browse to where I have my interior doors, Craftsman, and this was our swinging door. And we hit open and we'll get this dialogue and you can see that it's reading it correctly. You can see it's a four panel door with all the changes we made. So let's just load in the 36 by 80 inch door. Click okay. So now Revit, when we go to place that door, you can see it brought in with, with the new parameters that we asked it to bring in. So anyways, guys, you can do this with almost all, you can do this with all my families that use a catalog and you can see it's a real fast way to, to make a new series of doors. So maybe you, you start a whole nother part of your library. You have the three panel doors, but then you also separately create an area with four panel doors that you can load in. But that's the quickest way to change parameters in my families and uh, good luck with that, and let me know if you have any questions or concerns.